Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to, technically, part two of the Natasha Denona love series. It's not even a series. Collection, I guess. <laughs> the eyeshadow palette, the uh, face palette, and then I did not pick up the glosses that came in with this collection, I guess you could say. So we've gone through the palette. You've probably already seen that review. Now it's time to talk about the face palette. So if you're interested in seeing swatches, a demo, and hearing what I think about this palette and how it worked for me, kind of comparing it to the bloom in case you already have that one, then just keep on watching. All right, so in typical fashion and as per usual, let's first go into the Sephora website to share with you details of the product, and then we'll go into the product itself. So for reference, this palette is $55. You get four pans of product, and uh, that is consistent with her tan palette and her bloom palette. It is 0.42 ounces of product, 12 grams, and it is a cheek palette in four shades of picture perfect pink for blush and highlighting. Um, these lightweight but hydrating creams and powders allow you to achieve the ultimate in luminous luxury. Um, it is free of parabens and Natasha Denona is cruelty free. So now that we've gone through that, let's go ahead and talk about the product itself, shall we? So the box is very similar to the Love Palette, the Love Eyeshadow Palette box. It's pink, it's very simple. It has the large ND lettering on the front and that is, to me, very consistent with her face palettes, the packaging. Um, on the back, you have the typical diagram and shade names, ingredients, things of that nature. So for reference, this does have an 18 month shelf life and this product is made in Italy, which I find pretty much all of her products uh, to be made there. So that's what we've got going on with the box. As far as the palette itself, this is probably the most beautiful packaging, I guess, of any makeup product I own. I, when I first took this out of the box, I was like, oh my gosh, this makes me so happy. <laughs> so hopefully you can see all of the little confetti and everything just kind of falling down. I'm trying not to blind you with the glare. There you go. So it's very, very pretty in that sense. It's got like some holographic silver type of squares. It's got just like white. It's, it's very pretty. It's very appealing. And I literally, this is not even joking. I have sat for a couple of minutes and just kind of gone back and forth playing with the little stuff inside. I know. I know it's sad, but the packaging is so pretty. The pink on this, just like the Love eyeshadow palette, is everything I would want in a Valentine's palette, um, in a Valentine's makeup product. It's got the prettiest shade of pink. Um, it's just really, really lovely. I love the packaging on this, and I think that they did a great job. So on the inside, you've got the mirror. You've got four pans. Ooh, did not mean to blind you like that. It's hard because the silver, like, in this inside. <laughs> it's very shiny. Anyway, so you've got the four pans of product and just like her other palettes, in fact, also like her diamond and glow large palette, which I'll show you here shortly. It's got like a little cover and that's to help protect the cream products from the powder products. So that way it's not all mixing in and everything. So you've got that detail in here. And then let's see if I can do this without blinding you. Okay. That's pretty good. Hold on. Let me open this back up. Okay. So here you've got your um, four pans of a product right there. And yeah, hopefully I am getting you in frame and giving you a good glimpse. It's kind of hard to do when products are a little extra shiny. So let's go ahead and go, first go into swatches. Let's go into the demo and then let's talk about these pans of product. All right, so all four products. We've got the Glow Cream Base, we've got the Super Glow, we've got Diamond Powder, and the Glow Impact Powder, which the Glow Impact Powder is always my favorite out of every um, face palette that she releases. And so um, that's, I mean, I'll just tell you up front. <laughs> it's uh, just that, it's very high impact. So here are the four products. Hopefully you can get a very good glimpse. Okay, so now that we've gone through the real quick swatches, there's only four pans of product, let's go into the demo so that you can see how this applies on my face. For reference, I am a light to light medium neutral skin tone, um, and so I want to share that with you so that those of you who share my skin, same skin tone know kind of how it would apply. 
and so that you other skin tones can kind of see like, all right, that would work. Oh, you know what? That wouldn't work for my skin tone. So let's go ahead and go into that portion of the video and we'll be right back. All right, first off, we're gonna start with the Super Glow shade. Now, it is a very peachy tone, so I have been using this as my blush. It does have a very strong sheen, so if you are opposed to a sheen in your blush, then you may not like this one. I, for one, love it. It makes my skin look healthy and radiant. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the Glow Impact Powder and my A23 Anastasia Highlighting Brush. And this is a densely packed product in the pan, so you do need to go in with a little bit of a heavy hand to pick up the product. Just adding a little bit to my nose. Um, this can get very intense very quickly. So if you like subtle, then like I said, it's very stiffly packed. So if you go in with a light hand, then you'd pick up less product, but it is a very intense highlight. All right, now let's move on to the diamond powder. This is a beautiful diamond powder shade. It's the prettiest shade of pink. And I'm just gonna lay this over top of the highlight. I find that this shade of pink along with the shade in the Glow Impact Powder go very well together and they build up to a very intense finish. And that completes the look for today. All right, so now that we've gone through the demo, we've gone through swatches, now let's go ahead and start breaking this down. Let's talk about this. So first of all, let's go into the Love Palette and go into the, um, I guess the titles or the names of each of these pans of product. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare to the Bloom because what you're going to find is that the names of some of these pans of product are different than what we've seen before. So you've got the Glow Cream Base in the uh, Bloom palette, and you also have the Glow Cream Base in the Love palette. Then you go on to the Cream Blush, and then what it's called ooh, in the Love palette is Super Glow. So it's definitely a different type of, it's being marketed, I guess, as a different type of product. Then you've got Glow Extreme, and over here, it's called Glow Impact Powder, so definitely different. And then you've got ooh, Duo Glow in the Bloom, and you've got Diamond Powder in Love. So now that we've gone through that, let me take you into the Diamond and Blush Palette. This is one of my very favorite fa uh, face palettes of all time. It was pricey, but I think it was so worth it. I have enjoyed using this so much and this has given me intensity that I really it's a hard I have a hard time finding the type of intensity for my cheeks <laughs> that I find in this palette so right so that being said in the love palette you've got the glow cream base and then you have got the diamond powder those two are consistent with products in this larger palette. Um, so you've got Glow Cream Base here, and then you've got Diamond Powder down here. The thing about Diamond Powder that a lot of people don't like is that literally that's what it is. It is a very, I don't want to say chunky because that almost sounds bad, but it's a very sparkly PC type of product and it is meant to pretty much layer over top of the, of the highlight. It's meant to take you to that next level of intensity. So a lot of people tend to not like that. If you are not into the whole sparkle in your highlight, then that really isn't for you. So the diamond powder, not the same shade obviously, but diamond powder that is in this large palette is now found in the love palette. So that being said, I also want to take you into a couple of swatches as far as, or one swatch, as far as the Bloom palette and the Love palette because I want you to see a comparison in case you already own this one. So the Glow Extreme in the Bloom palette looks like this, and I'll swatch them on the back of my hand here in a second. And then the Glow Impact powder looks like this. So now that you can see those, let's go ahead and place them right there. So what I want to point out is they are not identical, but they are very, very similar. So when I say similar, I mean they have got 
a almost like a pinky type of hue. I almost find the Bloom one to be a little bit more in the pinky peach, but truly and honestly, they're very similar. I find the Bloom one also to be a little bit more chunky, and that's, again, not the right word because it's not chunky, but the one in the Love palette is a little smoother. So I really wanted to point that out because in case you already have Bloom and you're wondering how those two highlights compare, they compare pretty similar. Again, not identical, but very similar. Aside from that, that's really the only similarity that I find between the two. Now, let's go into what I think of each pan of product in here. So let's start off with the Glow Cream Base. I actually very much like the one in the Bloom palette. I feel like that one does have almost a, how can I put it? It almost has a highlighter type of shade to where I can use it as my highlight base to have something for the powder to stick to. Now, in the Love palette, that's a very different story. It's almost like a red. But here's the thing. When you swatch it, it's very, very sheer. So it almost, you can see a rosy tone on my finger because I feel like there's more product all in one space. But let me just place it on my hand and it shears out quite a bit. Now, a lot of people like this type of product. A lot of people who like cream blushes and like sheer pans of product. When I put it on as a blush, it's hard for that pigment to really show through and it almost just looks like a gloss on my cheeks. So that being said, I would want to use it more as a highlight cream for, again, the powder to adhere to. However, it's too rosy. So it's almost too sheer to be a blush, but it's too rosy to place like in the area of my highlight for that to adhere to. So I think if you really build it up, you can get some good payoff. What I found when I did that was I just didn't like the look because it is a glossy type of product and it just looked kind of gunky on my skin. So I really wasn't a fan of that. Um, but again, Everybody uses different things in different ways. Somebody fairer than I would probably be able to put on a layer, maybe even two of this, and have it look absolutely stunning, just like a flush. For somebody of a deeper skin tone than I, this might very well be a great highlight base. So I'm just kind of in that in-between where I don't like it one way, I'm really not crazy about it the other way, but that's okay, let's move on. Let's go on to Super Glow. Now, it's marketed as Super Glow, I use it as a blush, obviously, as you saw. This has such a beautiful sheen. I cannot even put it into words, you guys. It looks like a beaming light on my cheeks, but in a beautiful way. It makes my cheeks look so healthy because, again, I do use it as a blush, and it is just so, so stunning. The glow is everything I would want in a blush. I love glowy blushes. That's one of the reasons I love the Patrick Ta blush so much, and it's because it has that sheen. And a sheen in a blush, for me, makes my skin look healthy and radiant, and just, I love a good radiant blush. I would choose a radiant blush over a matte any day of the week. I know that sounds crazy to a lot of y'all, but that's just my preference. So I love this as a blush. Here's what I find kind of weird though, it's peachy. So I would have thought because this is a love Valentine's Day palette that it would have been more on the pinky rosy side. I don't know, I don't make up the rolls, I don't create these palettes. I just put in my two cents. So anyways, that's the super glow, but again, I use it as a blush. Let's move on to the diamond powder. I love, again, I love my diamond powder in the diamond and glow palette. And this one is no exception. This is so stunning. And what I love about this, it does have the pinky hue. It does have that Valentine's, almost looks kind of, it's a very pop of pink. It's not like any kind of muted pink in the pan. But what's crazy is when you swatch it, the pink is very soft, but the metallic finish or the intensity to this is very strong because it has that like gold shift to it. It's like even on my finger, I find when I show you swatches on my fingers, like, okay, you can get an idea, but not until I swatch them on the back of my hand. Can you really tell what it looks like? I feel like this is beaming <laughs> off of the tip of my finger, which is crazy. It's so stunning. I just, I can't get enough of this powder. It's 
just like a pink light bulb went off on my face and in a very good way because if you are used to my videos, you know that I'm not a fan of pinky hued highlighters. I don't like them. They don't suit me. They just, I don't feel like they look good on me. This is everything that I would want in a pink highlighter. And again, I'm not a fan of pink highlighters. Now this is, I'm gonna repeat this, this is the diamond powder. So you technically could go in straight with this without the highlighting powder, but it's not, I feel like it's, it's a little bit more PC. So you kind of need them to kind of go together to give you that super high voltage wattage. But, uh, and honestly, I would think at that point, the pink shift is a little too strong to just use on its own. Having that champagne gold type of shade kind of helps offset that and they are just a match made in heaven. So lastly, the Glow Impact Powder. I told you that this is usually my favorite pan of product within all her face palettes and it's no exception to this one either. It's a very stiff pan of product. It almost looks like plastic and I find that to be the case with the tan and the bloom. When I first opened them, they almost look like plastic, like you know, play makeup just because it's so stiff in there, but oh my goodness, it is so, so lovely. As you start rubbing it down, especially with your finger, you start wearing down the ND uh, emblem in that pan of product, but this is so beautiful. Because it's so stiff, there really isn't any kick up, and so there's no issue there. That's never an issue for me, but I know for a lot of people it is. So that's what that one looks like right there. And then again, once you blend those two together, you layer those two together, it is a match made in heaven. It is so blinding, so beautiful. Not for the faint of heart when it comes to highlight but I like bold. I want to be seen five neighborhoods down. So that is totally up my alley. So that's what we've got going on with this palette, you guys. So as far as my final thoughts, I love this palette. Now, granted, you may ask, well, why do you love it? Why are you dazzled by it when there's one out of four pans of product that you're not crazy about? Well, just because the other three, to me, make up for it. And I, again, may not really get much use out of this one. Who knows? Down the road, I may say, that's what I can use that for. For right now, it probably won't get used. These other three pans of product are everything and were well worth the money for me to the point where I would say, if I had to choose between this one and the eyeshadow palette, I would choose this one. The eyeshadow palette was a little bit of a letdown for me just because of my expectations not because I think it was bad quality, but just because my expectations were something different to what what it did for me, what it, how it performed for me. This met every one of my expectations. I was hoping it would be a pinky themed, which the diamond powder does it for me, um, type of like beaming highlight to the moon. The packaging is everything. Again, I really think this one is worth the price tag. And if you had to pick between the two, what my suggestion would be is this one. Again, if you enjoy a very intense, even sparkly highlight. So keep that in mind as well. All right, my friends, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have been interested in this collection, in this love collection by Natasha Denona, I, I hope that you have found the eyeshadow palette review as well as this review helpful to you, whether, you know, whether you decide that this is right for you or not. So before I let you go, I just want to give you a very quick verse of the day. Today's comes from Isaiah 43, 2, and I love this verse. It's so encouraging, and I just, I do this in an effort to help motivate and encourage you to add some sunshine to your day and truly to tell you that Jesus loves you so much, and I do too. Now that we're going into Valentine's Day, what better way to tell you that Jesus loves you? And if you are in a place of despair, heartache, um, isolation, if you feel lonely, then I'm here to tell you that you may feel that way. Like, people may have abandoned you, but Jesus would never abandon you. So it's my prayer that you'd call on him and let him show you how wonderful he can really be. Today's, uh, again, comes from Isaiah 43, 2, and it says, When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. All right, my friends, I hope that encouraged you. I hope that, I hope that that helped brighten your day. Thank you so much for spending some time with me, for talking about makeup with me today. I truly enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to the next one. All right, y'all, have a wonderful rest of your day. See you soon. Bye.